This video I'm going to walk you through downloading a web connection from the FME Hub, installing the web connection in FME Workbench, and then using uh, the web connection in the HTTP Caller Transformer to connect to an API. So in this scenario I'm going to um, walk through connecting to the Instagram API, but this scenario is really applicable to getting up and running with any web connection for any web service. The only bit that's going to differ is kind of the um, the configuration that you need to do to get the client ID and the client secret for that particular web service. And that differentiation will be documented on the actual HFME Hub item. So let's search for the Instagram web connection to start with on the FME Hub, so I have that there. So here is all of the information about the web connection, and here I can actually download the web connection. So let's go ahead and do that. So it's just actually an XML file as a web connection containing all of the information and the logic. So what you need to do in FB Workbench to install it is go to FB Workbench Preferences, or on Windows I believe it's Tools and Options, um, and we go to the Web Connections uh, tab on the left, click Manage Service, uh, and this is the dialog that you'll get. And then we need to add a plus down here in the bottom left, and we need to import. And we just need to choose that Instagram XML file that we've just previously downloaded. So I've successfully imported that XML file. And so now we have a client ID and a client secret that needs setting. These are really blank. I've just put the bush in there. Um, the redirect URL is crucial. That must be localhost. And then this is all of the configuration um, around the URLs needed to do the OAuth 2 workflow. Uh, so if we look at, so the first thing we have to do is we need to generate uh, this client ID and client secret. So to do that we need to go to the Instagram API. So here's the Instagram API and obviously now if you're working with a different web connection you'll need to go to their API documentation, you'll need to find the authentication part and under the authentication part, it will probably show you and tell you how to create a, um, 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 a client. So you need to create a managed client. And the client is there because you need to generate a, a client secret um, uh, and a client ID. And so what these are for all the different web services is it's so that Instagram knows which application you are um, connecting to them. So, you know, who is this? Is it... Um, a web app or is it a desk, FME desktop? So you need to register a new client and you can call it FME Workbench. Give it a description. So the, so the ones that come in the product, we've actually done this for you already. Uh, and we may do this in time um, within the FME Hub as well, but for now you just have to generate your own. Uh, client ID and client secret. So this is a crucial part here, and this is the redirect um, URL. So you must set this to local host, because obviously FME Desktop is a um, desktop application, not a web server. So once we've done that, we should be able to register that app, and oh, here we're going to put website URL, so that's fine, and then we'll enter local host again. I should spell that right. HTTP. So I'll register that. So here's the client ID and the client secret. So I can just copy that now, go back to FME Workbench, paste the client ID there, client secret there. Um, and so now I can test that. And so what it should say is FME Workbench or whatever you've called the app. Well, let's just see. Okay, so I've got HTTPS there, so make sure that the redirect URI matches exactly, because I put HTTP. Um, so it's saying, hi, FB, FB Workbench is requesting you the following. So yes, that's good, authorize that. So that's all working, so that's great. So now we can close that down. And now what we can do, so now we've created this web connection. 
So now we can reuse this web connection, we can use this web connection throughout FMU. So I've got a, an HTTP caller here. So if I go here to the Instagram API um, and actually look at all of the, um, let's look at the endpoints. So these are the URLs that I can now copy um, into FME and start interacting with. So I could get media, I can get comments, I can get likes. So if we go back here, you can see in this call I'm just getting the recent, the, the recent media. But the thing we're interested in is this web connection. So we've just imported the web connection from the hub. We've configured it with the correct client ID and client secret. Now what we need to do is, is generate um, uh, a web connection object that is attached to this HTTP caller. So basically what we're doing now is saying whose user account do we want to use to access Instagram. So in this case we're doing users self media recent. So whoever I authenticate with here, um, the URL is going to get my media, my Instagram media. So I'm going to uh, choose my type Instagram here for the web service connection. Click authenticate. And I should get the same box as before. And so then you're logging in um, with your Instagram account. So this is the FME World Tour account. Log in here. So that's now generated an access token. I click OK. And if I lay down another HTTP call a transformer, um, I could actually, if I go to HTTP, I use authentication down here, choose a web connection. I can then reuse this Instagram connection throughout FME. So now if I run this workspace, I'm just going to go out to the Instagram API, grab a photo, we're then using a JSON extractor to extract um, the information and, and this is the last um, feed um, came somewhere in France on my, on my Instagram feed. So that's how it works for Instagram. As I say, you can see here, um, I've added, um, you can add a web connection for any, basically any web connection that you download um, from the FME Hub. Um, you can configure it and hook up to the HTTP caller so you can interact with, uh, with the API.